week he's doing 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. shifts. eating my lunch. It was so yummy. Now I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna pack up these guys. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually like 14 items that I sculpted. I think it was like 10 orders, so 10 people that these are gonna go out to. I've been really enjoying making these small batches because I feel like I can put more attention into every little detail and I just feel like they turn out much cuter whenever I'm doing these smaller batches. Granted, the era of me making like 50 items a week was great. It was super dope, but now I just just want to take care of myself do this for as long as i can i'm not creating from a mindset of like unworthiness but instead i'm creating from just like true love now that i'm graduating this is gonna be like my full-time thing soon and i'm so scared of burning out of hurting myself in the process so um yeah this is this is good. But of course I'm a Capricorn, so I'm saying this all as I'm literally planning on sculpting a lot more this week. I don't know. Old habits die hard, I guess. Minor ordered a frog cake desk friend as well as a Sakura radish desk friend. off topic but i've been stealing mr uncomfy's keyboard to use while he's not home it's just like it sounds so much better and it feels so much better so it's sort of a big week for me wednesday i have my thesis review thursday i have my thesis reception show saturday i'm graduating lots of being in front of people lots of pictures i'm also just worried about like my skin breaking out because obviously i want to look good for these events so i've been really trying to maintain healthy habits to heal my skin barrier from the inside out this week's sponsor is peak and their radiant skin duo has been part of my daily ritual for glowing radiant skin their sun goddess matcha contains powerful antioxidant to firm up and brighten the skin as well as chlorophyll to clarify and detoxify the skin and the BT fountain which is my personal favorite contains hyaluronic acid and I also love that it has clinically proven ceramides to improve skin elasticity and reduce fine lines and I love how both of these drinks complement each other and work together to form an effective and holistic skincare routine I like to have a warm cup of matcha in the mornings and then I'll have BT fountain for a hydration boost in the afternoon sun goddess matcha is deliciously creamy and gives you calm energy to get you through your day whereas bt fountain is super refreshing with subtle citrusy notes of yuzu and raspberry and it's sugar free they come in super convenient packs like this so you can just add it to your water whenever you're on the go like if you're hiking or if you're traveling especially in the airports bt fountain is so good to maintain your skin's hydration even while you're up in the sky the sun goddess matcha is quadruple toxin screened for purity and contains 35 percent more l-theanine than other matchas. And BT Fountain is formulated with the highest quality as well with the most bioavailable ingredients. It's vegan with no added sugar, no added preservatives, or artificial ingredients. For a limited time, get free shipping plus 15% off on Peak's Radiant Skin Duo. You also get a complimentary starter kit when you start your ritual. Cheers! I'm at the gallery now super nervous they're already like setting up chairs to watch me present because i'm the first one going today i'm trying to like calm down only 10 minutes it's only 10 minutes it's crazy because after this i'll be done like be done with school <sighs> wish me luck here is my thesis display it's just playing my youtube video i have my process book here with all of my stuff, business cards. I had stickers, but everyone took them. And then headphones for people to watch.
Classic college meal. Actually, I want wings instead. It has been so gloomy and so rainy today. It's actually been really gloomy all week. And today has been especially gloomy. Like literally I woke up and it was pouring rain. It's now two o'clock and it's still pouring rain. I've just been home alone all day. I had a meeting, I edited some footage for a sponsor and I have about two hours left before I have to get ready for the thesis show tonight. From what I've gathered, it's more of like a casual celebration for all of the fine arts students, families and friends to come and see what we've all been working on for the past year. I feel like I've said this before, but I'm not really good at like big events or celebrations. I'm not used to big events or celebrations. They make me very uncomfy. Not in the way that I'm nervous, but I guess it's like I don't want to waste my family's time. And then there's my actual graduation ceremony two days afterwards, so I don't know. I just so many things. It looks like the weather's also going to be very gloomy and it might rain during the graduation ceremony. Someone told me that it's actually good luck for it to rain on big events in your life, so that's fun, I guess. That's good. Um, <laughs> the plan for today is that I'm going to eat something and then I'm going to sculpt some orders and then I'm going to get ready. I'd like to take this time to thank all the family members that are here and the friends. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in 